Good morning. Good morning. Good morning uh, to our Facebook friends. Good morning to our YouTube family. Good morning. Uh, we're back again. Uh, another Monday. Uh, in a lot of places, children are, are, are returning back to school. Uh, so have a fantastic time um, in school today, kids and parents who are dropping them off and running away from school. All that fun stuff. Yay! Sitting in car line. Car line. I do not miss not a bit. <laughs> Can't say I miss it. Um, I'll be ready for the grandkids and helping, you know. Can you pick him up today? I can do that. Maybe. One day. Maybe. <laughs> Maybe. I don't know. Maybe one day. Maybe not. Uh, but anyway, so enjoy Carline. Or you could just have their butts ride the bus. But nah, they don't ride the bus. Uh, which is why you know, which is why the kids don't drive now. And kids, uh, kids take Uber because they get used to being driven. They get used to being driven around. Yeah. Surprisingly, I've heard a lot of people say that their teenagers don't have license. They're not interested. They're not interested in driving themselves anymore. When I turned 15, that was the first thing I wanted to do was get my license. Got a car, drive yes. around, have some freedom. Freedom. But now they can just get you know, just get them an unlimited Uber card. Which is which? Which is cheaper than buying a car, yeah. and it's cheaper than having car insurance, mm -hmm. and they can basically go wherever they want, and then you can actually track where they go. Yeah. <laughs> well, at least where the, they have their phone with where the, on the right. where the Uber takes them anyway. Uh, but anyway, so I understand that that, 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 not, that that's an option. Well, that's not what we're going to talk about this morning. Good or, or but I just I just thought it was Off interesting. Topic. I just thought it was interesting um, for, for for you people who are parents who have to deal with that. Um, today we're going to talk about five things um, that you should include in a daily checklist uh, in your relationship to keep you, to keep you connected. So often uh, we hear that people who have been married for like a long time, 20 years, and then they can, at the end of 20 years they go, we just grew apart. We grew apart. How the hell is that possible that you grew apart? You're what, living in the same household. Yes, and you have the children and you have... But what happens is you start to live your work life and your home life at, separately. And then what happens is there isn't that daily connection. You don't have any things that you connect about, that you talk about, um, that you understand. You forget to communicate. You forget to talk about Plain stuff. Plain and simple. You forget to communicate. And you become roommates instead of husband and wife. So we have, we have five really easy tips that you can insert, move around. These aren't in any, any particular order um, that you can. Let me move my delicious coffee. And it's not to say your marriage is going to fail if you don't do this. No, no, no. no. This, is just, this is just sort of so, something to help you along, something, something to make it a little easier. Um, no, if, you, if your marriage works and you guys never talk to each other and you've been married 30 years and you're still in love and you'll still fight for each other, well, I don't know how, but rock on. Um, I ain't hating. <laughs> Willie is not hating. All right. Um, and this checklist. Wait, you're Will and what? Jada Smith. <laughs> yeah, yeah. If you're Will and Jada Smith, perfect. And you're perfect, and everything is great, and your kids are just weird, weird, wild now, <laughs> moving out of the house at 12 years old, living in an apartment by themselves in New York. If that's why, if that's how y'all do it. That's how y'all do it. If ain't anybody dead or in jail, rock on. All right, um, let's see, the first thing in the checklist, and this is not an extensive, exhaustive checklist, none of, none of our checklists are, um, and you can add things, delete things, you know what, like my friend Ralph says, you can eat the chicken and throw away the bone. Um, start by appreciating something about each other every day. Yes. And again, this is, these don't have to be grand gestures. This could, this could be, and I think personally, it should be something that you appreciate about each other in private. In private, and it can be public. It can be public, depending, you know, depending on what it is, you know. Um, for instance, this is not okay. This is not okay to tell your friends that your wife has a nice butt. <laughs> That's not okay. Because your friend might be jealous and start looking at well, your yeah, wife. Well, yeah, that, that, that's a weird crossover. You don't yes, want that. That's weird. You know, but it, but it's okay while you're getting ready for work to, to go. tell your wife that. It's okay. It's okay. 
you know, it's, you know, and, and it's okay for the wife to say, you know, what you, st <laughs> this is, this is one of my favorite, one of my favorite little stories. I went to the uh, optometrist about ten years ago, twelve years ago, and the optometrist was checking my eyes, and she said to me that I have really pretty eyes, mm -hmm. and then she said, "Too bad they don't work." <laughs> That's pretty sad. I was like, yeah, she got really pretty eyes. She had the light in there and she was like, too bad they don't work. <laughs> I was like, they are very pretty. Thank you so much. Thank and, you so much. And, and my son inherited them. So they both too. have beautiful eyes. And it's those kind of, and, 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 and see, you may not think that's a big deal, but any of those kind of encouragements, especially as you get older and especially as, you know, what your body starts to do, what your body starts to do starts to become a body that you're not familiar you're with. You're like, what the hell? <laughs> like, Why does my pinky hurt? This? And what is that <laughs> not on my pinky? Where'd that come from? You know, that kind of stuff. Um, are, you know, all those things are encouraging. And that's a great way to start your day being encouraged by your spouse. You know what, that's a nice jump start to the rest of the day. Um, another thing, off, when you get home, offer new information about your day. So often... I remember when when, when Alex, Alex was going to school and I was working in school, you would we would come home and you would and you would always say, "Well, how was school, boys?" And we would both go, "It was school." <laughs> <laughs> it was school because school is one of those things where you do the very same thing every single day in the very the same, same order, routine. next to the sitting next to the very same people. You even go to lunch and sit next to the same people. <laughs> You know, and the only time that something different happens, it was something bad happens, normally. Yeah, somebody was missing today. Or, yeah, the science wing caught fire today, by the way. <laughs> and a hedgehog lost his life. That actually happened in, in a school I worked in. Uh, yeah, and, the, and actually the science wing was closed for a year. Um, so, I and I understand that, th that sometimes our, our jobs are routine, and it's the same thing every day. But you know what? I never had a boring day at my previous job. Oh, no, no. It, it was, was never it a was boring wild. day in East Tampa. It was wild and out every day. It was wild and out. Oh, two, Interesting two senior citizens beat the crap out of each other in front of the ATM. <laughs> That's why I started my day. It's like, what? Yep, two senior citizens beat the crap out of each other at the ATM. No. It, I mean, there were... There, there that was were, awesome. There was were interesting awesome days. Day. <laughs> and then there were slow days also. But... Uh, it's good to share that with your spouse because it 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 communicates to you how they're de how they're dealing with life on their job. You know, some so you need to talk about about you know a lot of times people say, well, I don't want to repeat what all went on and this and the other. I don't want to relive that. But sometimes your spouse is, wants to know what's going on with you because you may your attitude could change. Um, drastically you may become depressed or something because of what's going on at work and they need to know that they need to know you know how to comfort you and what you know what to lift you up the the what was really great about my stressful situation that I was going through back then is that my husband has the best sense of humor and Most he would always funny. tell me, <laughs> he would always tell me, you know, have have a good day at work. If you can't have fun, make fun of it. And I started to practice that. That's how I live. <laughs> That's how I live. Because some things, and it comes from being working in school, some things are hard. Some things are hard every day. And it's just, and, some, and after you get done with, with, with people's foolishness, you know, and it's just, I just foolishness sometimes. That, that you can't just you can't take it all seriously you can't fix it all no. and, and and if it were happening to somebody else it would be funny yes. <laughs> you know if it would happen to somebody else if you were watching some of this stuff on TV you'd be going that's funny um, so when it happens to I you I think when I retire I might write a book I think you should <laughs> I think you should I think you should I think you should it's called it Chronicles of E.T. <laughs> E.T. go home anyway uh, yeah, I think you should, cause, cause some days, that's my favorite. That's my favorite story. When the old people were, were beating the crap out of each other in front of the ATM, <laughs> that is my favorite. My favorite story. It's hysterical. Uh, ask them, and now, now these are hard sayings. Ask about something that has bothered you or puzzled you 
either about yourself or about your spouse. And, this, and, 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 and again, none of these things, because, because you, you aren't trying to practice this stuff daily, this is, this is not the, the deep, deep, deep conversations that you can have every day. I don't think that people, anybody could survive that sort of introspection every day. Just little stuff. Mm -hmm. You know what? Things that maybe about their childhood that you, that you, you don't know, you, want, you, wonder you wonder about. about who is this? And how were they related? How did... You know, and, and we all have those questions about our spouse and family. Ooh. Especially when you come back from reunions or family get-togethers. Who the hell was that? <laughs> Christmas. In a yellow jumpsuit. Oh, that was Uncle Bert. <laughs> Uncle Bert. Where did he come from? Was he your brother? No. Was he your mother? No. Where I call Uncle Bert? He was the next door neighbor that we call Uncle Bert. <laughs> oh! <laughs> And everybody's got and that he sort of madness. became a family member. Yeah, so, so he comes to family reunions. Yeah, yeah. So and everybody, especially and especially black folks, have that sort of not have that sort of that sort going of going on in their mania family. going on in their family. So and, and and these things are designed to keep you talking. You know what? So you don't want them to be um, judgmental or 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 or, or, or complaining. Because once they're judgmental or complaining, the conversation stops. Then it stops. turns over into an argument. And, 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 and then <laughs> the communication like. stops. And that's not what you want. You want these things to be sort of open-ended conversation starters. Yes. Because a lot of times people go, well, I haven't been talking about it. Well, certainly you do. Well, certainly you do. How come you had, you had and he's passed away, an Uncle Beatrice? And why did they call him Beatrice? Isn't that, it was spelled like Beatrice. Yes. How come, where that name come from? That's it one of the things. It wasn't a family name, but I just think my grandma wanted, she had six boys. And she wanted a girl? So she <laughs> named one of her sons a girl's name? <laughs> now. I think it had to have something to do with the family, but I've never asked. Uncle Beatrice was awesome. We, he I mean, was great he uncle. was awesome. He had, he had like, they had like 1,200 kids. <laughs> Mm -hmm. We had a lot of kids. We had like about twelve hundred, and and one of the friends. And they continue to have. And, and, oh yeah, they continue the practice. We went up there and, and had Thanksgiving there, and there were like eighty people at this Thanksgiving. What were they like? Maybe th more. There were there was a bunch of people. That's the kind of stuff. That's the kind of stuff we're talking about. Those are conversation starters. Those are things that that you know what. As somebody who came from a you know what a basically a, a, very, small a very small family, we didn't have any of that going on. I was always curious. I was always curious about that, and that's the kind of stuff I'm talking about. I'm not talking about the deep, dark, introspective conversations. I, I'm not talking. I'm talking about that's going to make you depressed. They, they, they think about going. Uh, make you, you I don't know, even know. I don't want to talk about. I don't want to talk about that. That makes me sad. And we all have those those times. You have to do that sometimes in your life, but you don't have to yes. do that all the time. And but you don't want to do it daily basis. No, on a daily basis, you just want to want to chit chat. You know, and it. The, and the, because even though he didn't have a big family, he has friends that I ask a lot of questions about. It's like, what? <laughs> yeah, I've got. Yeah, I've, I've got a pretty, pretty His college friends. Pretty bizarre group of friends. <laughs> I do. And your political friends are kind of. Yeah, my political friends are are, are completely nut cases. Most of them, <laughs> complete nut cases. Hey, Kelvin, what's going on? What's up, what's up Kevin? Um. Sheila. And Sheila there, and, 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 Tammy. and Tammy hopped in for a little bit. And, and Terry. Like more Miss June stuff. Uh, and, I know. And, and Melva is in the house. From, from, <laughs> uh, so, you know, it, 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 it's, it's those kind of things that we're, that we're talking about. Um, now, this is something that we have to talk about. Make non-judgmental, complaint-free requests. Now, I don't know if you could do that every day because that may not be something no, that, that you want to want to do every day. Because we women will find something. Every day. <laughs> you can. Every day. <laughs> every day. It'd be, it'd, be lot, it'd, be, it'd be like, wait a minute, wait a minute. What day is this? 312. Wait a minute, I got some. <laughs> Guys that have like. Um, Two. Could you, could you make me a sandwich on Saturday? <laughs> You don't have to though. You don't have to. You could just like 
open the refrigerator door up, you know. <laughs> That's it. That's it. Um, one of the examples uh, that I found in, in, in my research was um, when you do the laundry, could you fold the towels? Now, I find that, that that towel folding is cool because you don't have to, I mean, because as long as it's folded. You always fold the and towels. Because it's easy. Because it's easy. Because it's easy. <laughs> <laughs> because I, yeah, I fold, fold a towel. I can, make a, I can make a rectangle. Look, it's a rectangle. So, it, you know, those kinds of fine, again, non-judgmental. And how, how, how do you do that? Avoid phrases like, you know, I'd like I, I'd like for you to do blah blah. blah. I like for you to do blah 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 blah. Cause you never do blah 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 blah. I can really use some help. Cause you never do this and you never try to avoid phrases like always and never. <laughs> because that becomes judgmental and not always true. Um, let's see. And this is and and this one is the fun one I think. Express a hope, big and small, every day. Right now, our personal hope now is that I can go out and get a round sink. <laughs> Literally. See, I'm let, we, we're going to let y'all in a little bit. I get a round sink to place in the hall bathroom. That's my small hope today that I get that done. Yes. What's your big hope? To remodel our bathroom. <laughs> see? Both of our. You see, <laughs> one hope is going to cost 40 bucks. The other hope is going to cost $4,000. <laughs> But again, those and are... And mine are usually more expensive. Yes. Uh, I want a new refrigerator for, the, well... For the remodel kitchen. For the kitchen. <laughs> but I also want to a remodel, remodel kitchen. the whole kitchen. See, and, and, and that's the slippery slope. Well, we, well, before we get this refrigerator, shouldn't we knock out that wall so we can put in the double door refrigerator? And if we're going to knock out that wall, we might as well get a bubble... We always... Tear down this old island and do something else. See how that goes. See, I know. See, I know. Cause it's not gonna look good. Hey, hey, Brianna. Hey, Miss Priscilla. How y'all doing? Big hugs. Um, <laughs> do this every day, or it's every day that you can, because these conversations again, they're they're non-judgmental. They're non-complaining. They're, they're non-threatening. Keep you connected, and keep conversation going. You know, we go to our jobs, and for the most part, strike up conversation with people all the time. Almost effortlessly. And then we come home, and then we don't have anything to talk about. What the hell? You can't talk to the person that you live with, but you can talk and tell all your business to the person that sits next to you. Yeah, you can't, you can't share with the, people, with the person that you've seen naked. But the guy at work... <laughs> what? It, it, it don't it don't it make good make sense. sense. <laughs> it don't make good sense, and and it, it don't make and it don't make good relationship. And, and I'm using that those, those phrases on purpose. It just doesn't make good relationship either. Um, that you have a, an easier going relationship with somebody um, that hasn't seen you naked. <laughs> um, Maybe. Now I'm dipping. I'm ah uh, well. <laughs> Y'all do like I, like we always say. Y'all do you, um, but you know what I'm saying. You haven't you have a you have an easier going relationship with your friends than you do your spouse. Yes. And that ain't the way it's supposed to be. The most easier going going comfortable relationship that you that you have in your that you have in your life is with your spouse. Yes. That's the one that you go. <sighs> You're more forgiving to people that that you work with than. Your, your own family. Yeah. And um, that's something that I found out in myself when I used to manage a lot of young people. And my son brought it to my attention once that, you know, um, how I, I would bake goods and do things and take it to work and all this. And then he said, well, what about me? <laughs> I want something. I want to be, I want attention. Keish you know? days were always... <laughs> Quiche days were always tough in this house because Debbie would, because she made, actually made, made two things for work all the time. She made quiche for work and you made that nacho dip thing. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And she'd make it at night and there'd be like no in the refrigerator and going, don't eat this, it's not for you. What? These are for people that, these are the, for the people that you complain about. What? Yes. <laughs> How, what? Huh? <laughs> Why are you giving them? Making 
food for them, but no. Nah, and you're nah. going to fire them. <laughs> <laughs> and then you so fired true. and then you <laughs> fired them. <laughs> can we can, can we have some matcha dip mother peas? <laughs> Yep, that's not for, I would yes. say, that's not for us, son. And that was, that was a flaw in my <laughs> behalf that they brought to my attention. <laughs> was, that's not for us, son. That's for the people that she hates. I don't, I don't Those, those delicious, <laughs> those delicious snacks aren't for us. Those are for the people that she's going to fire later. Uh, <laughs> well, you know, welcome, welcome to our house. But the idea is, whether you use those five or you use... One or two, have something every day that you use to build each other up, to compliment, to share, share your day. Uh, and I know that it's hard sometimes to share your day because when you get home, you don't want to think about work. That's the way it was with me. You don't want to talk about that because that was a part of your life that, you know, you, you didn't have a good day. So you didn't want to talk about it. But um, it's important to, to, to communicate to them, like I said, because sometimes that is dealing with you so much until you're in a different attitude, different mode, that you're treating your family in a way that you shouldn't. So it's good to talk about what's going on and what's dealing, what's making you feel this way, what's making you snappy, you know, and, and have an attitude. Um, be open and frank. Communication. Yeah, I, 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 I don't know how, how have I done. I, I try not to, and you're the, the best judge of, of, of this. I can pat myself. I can break my arm, pat myself on the back, but I try not to bring bring my negative feelings about my job home. Um, you do pretty good at it. You know, I, I, but we all have our days. You know, yeah, I, I, you know, and, and when I was working in the school system, I really tried not to bring what was negative home. You know, and there, and there was, and and in fifteen point one years, there was some negative days. There were some crappy days for sure. Um, so I tried not to bring that home and dump it. You know, dump it in the living room. Um, you know, so you don't talk about that part of your day. You talk. You I mean you try to. You know, in a seven-hour day at, at, at a school, you always find something that's funny. You always find something that's either terrible, so terrible that it's funny. Hey. Hello, Brown. Or, 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 or so terrible that it's funny or something that's truly funny. Um, Kelly. And so, so it, it makes it kind of, so it, it makes it kind of hard. But it's, di but it's really, like, like Debbie was saying, it's really important that you share some part of your day. Let your partner into your day. So they can, so at least they can understand. Because if you cut them out, then they, then, then they really don't understand. They, because, and they don't, and, and isn't, isn't it like they can follow you around all day long to, mm -hmm. to see what you're dealing with? Um, Especially, I think, um, for some stay-at-home moms. That's something that I haven't touched because I haven't been a stay-at-home mom. In a bit. In, yeah, in 20 years or more. But, um... Stay-at-home moms, they, they're, they're home and they're dealing with the babies and doing the house stuff and uh, uh, all their, they, they have a job. And sometimes when the husbands come home, they may, you know, want to just retreat and not be bothered and all this stuff. And um, But you need to communicate with your wife what's going, because she sometimes doesn't get to, to be out in the world. To, to talk to talk with grown-ups. Yeah, she's talking with two and three-year-olds all day. So she's starved for, for communication. So remember to, to take some time with your wife. You know, give her 20, 20 minutes. Which is an hour 20 minutes, but that's okay. Uh, <laughs> but, but that's okay. The idea is that, that, you, that when you get home in those situations, you have to engage. Uh, because there's things that she wants to tell you too. She wants to tell you things about your children. Yes. Um, and the, and at the time, if you're someone who who brings work home with you, in your you know what in your gut and stuff, that that's that's the time to put that aside because the things that she's talking about about your kids and about our day, outrank whatever crap happened to you at work. Frankly, the most important things in our lives don't happen at work. They happen at home. They happen with our our our, these four walls. our really important relationships. That's where the most important things happen to you. 
Um, that and, and and that's something that, that I I really always thought about, and I would tell people whatever happens here. People people who would come to me at work and go, oh, okay, I hate this, and they'd be crying and snotting on themselves. I said, this is not where the important stuff happens. The important stuff happens at home. So that's why that's how I was able to leave a lot of stuff, a lot of the negative stuff there. I'm like, get my car and go. Hmm, oh, that was fun. I got paid today. Yay. <laughs> Drive home. Where you know what. And, and the thing is that that's where we fail most times. We fail where the important stuff happens. So what we're trying to do here in this whole thing is so you don't fail where it's the most important. Because you'll get another job. You got that one. <laughs> you, got, yeah. you got that one. You'll get another job. Uh, you can do what you've been trained to do. But what you've not been trained to do is have a relationship for 30 or 40 years. No one's been trained to do that. No. So we all Most just, people just... You sort of bump around and yeah, yeah, you wing it. yeah. You just go, I ah, just do what I can today. <laughs> okay. I hope he likes me. Didn't didn't today. she didn't set my bed on fire? That's good. <laughs> I guess I'm okay. Um, I didn't have to have the dog taste the food. <laughs> Here, fluffy, fluffy like hell yeah, in our house. <laughs> fluffy like hell no. I saw what you put in that. <laughs> you better not eat it either. <laughs> So if you're not so if you're not living like that, that's a good thing. And all we're trying to do is it, it is help you do it a little a little better and have a little bit more fun at it. All right, we've been here about a half an hour, and our lights are going to turn out. And uh, well, not not from the electricity, kit, but my battery operator is going to turn out, and my camera is going to turn off. So we better get out of here now. All right. Well, well listen, we'll be back on Friday on Monday, next Monday. Next Monday. And um, we know that some people have been um, clam. Some of you have been clamoring. I, lo I love this YouTube thing. Clamoring for us to do a a, a program on, on on money Finance. and finances and stuff. And, That's uh, coming. And we're working on how we're going to do that. So um, stay tuned. Uh, and for those of you who are watching on Facebook, you know that we have a YouTube channel. Um, just go to our. Um, just search for Real Talk with Deb and Will on on YouTube. Or Deborah Lawson. Subscribe, like. Share, comment, uh, all that stuff. Hit the notification bell. That way you can tell when we upload. And um, you can go back and, and, and watch the ones that we've already done. And it's been like, golly, we started in February. Mm -hmm. It's August. Mm -hmm. It's like mid-August. It's been fun. Working with you. <laughs> but on our YouTube channel, there are other videos. Yes, there are. We have other lifestyle videos that, you know, go shopping with us and go painting with us. We do a lot. We have a lot of little things out there that we've done uh, showing our weekends. So, yeah, check yeah. us out. <coughs> yeah, and there's, a, <coughs> and there's a sex talk one out there, too. Yes. We did a midnight sex talk. Yeah, the quiet storm. <laughs> It's about time for us to do another one of those. Yeah, I think so. I think so. I think so. All right, so um, again, we got to get out of here and make room for somebody else. So until we see you again, go out there and learn something, love somebody, and for goodness sakes, y'all take care of yourself. We will see you when we see you. Love Peace. you.